Let's check this out. You got a parkour shot over the wall. The main thing that I'm seeing here, it's a bit, it's a bit strong and it's up and down of the root here. I think you want to, especially here where you have spacing wise, as it goes up, it kind of pops up and then down, like suddenly forward and then a bit less. So it's, it's a bit all over the place. And I think I would have something where as you go forward, you're not going to have immediate. Like you, you want to have some rhythm to it where it's not just this and then jumping. You can imagine he could be here and goes, OK, I want to go. And now that's the, probably the biggest part. Right. And then after that, it will be a bit less and then a bit lower here for the anticipation. Also probably leaning forward a bit more. And then. So that way it, just, it doesn't feel like it's just going, especially with those big pops. So it's a bit of rhythm of and go and go, that type of thing. And then the other thing is this feels like we're we're starting with going this way, which again, I will probably just lean a bit more forward with a bit of a stretch in that back. Probably also use the arms a little bit, not that, that high because they want to go there, but mainly so that you have the feeling of something like that. There will be changes to it, but the overall idea is that I'm going to jump, use my arms, and then land type of thing. Versus now, it feels like we're, and you can see with uh, onion skin here, you're starting here. If I track the root, then we have a slow it down. So, okay, well, that leg is here. It's going to slow down the root a bit. But then once we're here, we go, okay, we're going straight up. We're going to ease in there. Okay, and now we are going... Oh, it's only, oh, okay, go straight, oh, then there's the pause there, trying to track that root, and then we go down over there, right? So looking at that, you can see that change in that movement. I understand, again, there's a leg that's going to stop things, but there's just this feeling of we have this nice forward momentum. It's a bit straight. I think you can have a bit of a nicer arc through there. And then, yes, it will change because that leg is going to push up this way. So it's going to be way a bit more like this. It's not going to be one smooth motion. But right now, it just feels like we go suddenly straight up. And then we stop. And then that feels like this character is held by a string here. And it's being, you know, floated and carried over. To then suddenly drop. Versus like a nice little... Not that it's a clean jump. You're going to jump. And then there's a bit of help with the arms. And then drop. So there's going to be a change a bit in the art but right now it just feels a bit harsh and it's in that type of thing so to me it would be just calming down the up and down so that you you don't have those sudden direction changes especially here see that kind of pops forward and down and then if i look at the scene we can also see what the root is doing in this direction, right? So if we have this, we go forward, there's some left and right, that's fine. It's maybe a bit strong. The certain speed is gonna be a bit more stable left and right. But then we have this big move to the left here, which I would stabilize and just and keep it f not super straight, but just not so much, because right now what's happening is that, and you can see this here, we go up and then it would just kind of go in that direction. But now we have a sudden move this way that really overextends the leg to some degree there. And then we have a sudden change. And that change could only happen, I guess, if you pull with that left arm over there. But then if you pull that hard, then you will go more to the left. But now we suddenly stop and go straight up. And then when we land, you can see this here. It goes we suddenly to the right. So if you look at this here, there's a sudden left, right, whoa, and then something's going on here. And then down, whoop, to the right. And then suddenly to the right. Whoop. So I would definitely keep that a bit more calm where it's, let me switch tools here, where it's it's not so crazy left, right, and then all of this. But you're going to have something where, oh, let me uh, clean this here. You can, at the beginning, you're going to have a bit more left, right, because there's no speed yet, right? You can have a bit of left, right, and then it's going to stabilize a bit more, and then jump to one side, and maybe it'll change, and then land. Like, there's going to be... Again, some variation, but not those sudden changes, especially something through here. You don't want to, especially here, kind of hover and then pop over like two frames here. That's just a bit much, which is tricky because from this angle, you can't really tell. 
There's a bit of a pop from the from the camera view. Like, okay, but now once we're in perspective mode, it's like, okay, I understand why. This is pretty bonkers there. So watch out. It's just a bit messy through all of this here. Now, you were also asking about uh, the IK arms. And just one thing that I noticed is that we're going a bit early. If you look at that controller, see that you have the full extension, it's overextended. So you're gonna have to bring back, you can see that controller is off the arm. So you're gonna have to bring that back so you can bend. It looks like you're blending over a couple frames, which is fine, you can do that. But I would watch out to not overextend the arm. And then once you're here, this might be a bit strong over the wall. It could be interesting just staying there. But what you don't want to do is that once that character is on there, that hand here is going to be fairly locked. Like that, that weight is on there. You might have a little bit of slide, maybe, but it's fairly locked. So what you don't want to do is when you get up there, to kind of move, you can see how much that controller moves. So it would just be, I'm on here and I'm going to stay locked from there. And then once you're in polish, then you can start adding, like, all right, I'm putting weight on this from what side? Maybe I'm moving a bit to the left. So, okay, you might have a little bit of compression there. We can bring that a bit down. I mean, like, so you have a little bit of something in there, some compression in there, but you don't want to start moving all of this around like that. So again, I would copy paste that over. And then you're wondering, well, why is it moving? So if I copy paste all of this, you're not seeing this because I am down here. I'm copying all those keys and let's even this slides back. So copy paste that curve over there and then it's moving over there. So again, I'm going to copy all of this. Just keep that steady because you can always switch things afterwards. And you can see that's the switch here from, it's actually one frame later. There you go. Okay. So you're wondering, well, why is it then why is the hand still moving? It's because we are overextending. There you go. Like, why is that hand moving up? Well, if you look at arm, now we're fully overextending. So you're gonna have to, can't really bring that shoulder further down. It's already broken. You really have to look at all angles and kind of adjust this so that it, it makes a bit more sense pose-wise. And if you go, well, I mean, either you can do that and then bring this a bit lower to give that arm a bit more room or if you finalize the arc of the root and you don't want to do that, then you're going to have to bring this up so it's a bit bent. You want to overextend. And then you're going to start bringing that down. Again, it could be pivoting off the side a bit. And then depending on, you know, how much you want on there and control is there. I'm just going to rough that in. Then you can add a bit of a grip to that hand, you know, depending on how far you want to cheat with what that, that finger is doing there. But that's what I would do there so that you have a locked arm, at least as you start, and then you can always change things in in your polish section, but you don't want things like here. Again, you can see why is this moving, especially why is it moving backwards? If you have forward momentum and it would, you know, it might maybe land even here. Again, we're too soon with your transition and the overextension there but let's pretend it's here and this would be a bit more balanced if it was here and then if the character goes and kind of slides forward i can buy that so i will copy paste this so it's locked you might argue it might slide a bit forward because he doesn't he hasn't gripped the whole thing just yet it's not a comfortable grip right so you might argue it's going to maybe do something like that and then i will keep this it might, that might be an interesting adjustment later on because all the weight is on the, on the screen right arm and so on. But that's what, what you need to do. So if you're wondering, in the email you're asking about your, your arm, there's not too much detail here, but I'm assuming a wide arm is moving and all that stuff. is because you're having too many keys and you're not locking the arm down. But the main thing I would do is really get into the root so you don't have those crazy direction changes that are a bit just too sharp, too fast. Watch out for your hips as well. Let me see this here. See that's a bit strong there. It's a bit broken. So it's just calming all that stuff down. I don't know, I wouldn't have like that much of a, you know, of a hip sway. You can turn it a little bit, but I won't go too far. But calming down that left and right, because to me it's like all you need to do, not all you need to do, but 
the main thing for me is is getting the root of going all right i'm gonna jump okay and way with some whatever it is right and once you have this and it's proper arc so it doesn't go crazy left right then we can start looking at legs and arms because you don't want to go in there and like oh i want to fix those the arms mm, but maybe I, I don't quite like what what the root is doing well once you move the root it's going to change what the position is of the arms and legs so fix the root first and once that is done i will go into the upper body and then that's like the main construct of what is going to affect arms and legs and after that get into arms and legs all right i hope that makes sense uh, i hope i read your email correctly there if not always feel free to email and uh, we can discuss this all right thanks all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.